position is very, very important for universities. As other speakers have said, there are subjective and objective factors. For Shanghai ranking, we focus on objective factors more. Yeah. Uh, this is some general information about Shanghai ranking for published in 2003 and updated annually, both online and printed. The target groups are students, universities, and the governments. It's open to access. Uh, as Ian already mentioned, the Shanghai ranking, why we publish Shanghai ranking, uh, that's the Chinese dream of world-class universities. World-class universities is a dream for generations of Chinese. It's not only for pride, but also for the future of China. Yeah, since 1990s, Chinese government has launched several initiatives for research universities. The best known is the WCU project. We call it 985 project. Our Shanghai Jiao Tung University was selected as the first category to build world-class universities in China. At that time, my director, Professor Nian Cai Liu, worked in the strategic planning office. And he studied uh, the strategic planning from benchmarking universities worldwide because there are some questions in his mind. For example, what's the definition and criteria for world-class universities? How many world-class World class universities should be there in the world? What are the positions of top Chinese universities in the world? So we started the ranking from benchmarking universities all over the world. And after four years work, in 2003, he published the first academic ranking of world universities. We call it our ranking, but most our friends call it Shanghai ranking. Now Shanghai ranking is more famous for us. And from to uh, find out the position of top Chinese universities in the world higher education systems, now we provide more one source of information for the global comparison of universities. And in 2007, we published academic ranking of world universities field sub broad subject fields. There are five broad subject fields including science, engineering, life, medicine, and social science, no humanities. And two years later, we published our, our subject ranking. There are five fields included. That's mathematics, physics, chemistry, computer science, and economics. And next, I will introduce a little about the methodology of our ranking. The first one is how we select universities to be ranked. That any university with <coughs> Nobel laureates, field medals, or highly cited researchers, or published papers in nature or science, or has significant amount of papers indexed by scientific index of Thompson's, will be included in our ranking. So, at the beginning, we scanned more than 2,000 universities in the world. And every year, we ranked about 1,200 1, universities. But for the publication, we only published top 500 universities in our ranking and top 200 universities in our field and our subject ranking. For the R ranking, we use six indicators. That's alumni, award, highly cited researchers, nature and science papers, publications, and per capita indicator. For the R field ranking, there are two indicators was introduced. One is top, another one is found. You can find the definitions in our website. And for the, our subject ranking, we introduced another new indicator, that's Turing Award in computer science. This is the main sources of our data you can find in our site. Next, I will uh, share with you the results of ranking. This is a picture of the top 100 universities by region. You can find the number of 
universities in different regions kept stable, but the universities in Australia at Oceania continent, there are more universities go, go into the top 100 universities this year. This is the top five universities by region. You can find there are more universities in Asia. Most of them are Chinese universities and less universities listed in top 500 in America. And this is the top 500 universities by country in 2014. Uh, United States with 146 universities ranked to be the number one. And China, Germany, United Kingdom, France, Canada, Italy, Australia followed. And Spain was, Spain was ranked number 11. This is the top 500 universities in Spanish and Portuguese speaking countries in 2014. For the, speaking, uh, for the Spanish speaking universities, there are, oops, altogether there's, uh, oh, sorry. there's uh, 16 universities ranked <coughs> top 500. 12 of them are Spanish universities. For the both speaking, uh, both Spanish and Portuguese speaking countries, altogether there are 25 universities ranked in top 500. <coughs> This is top 500 uh, universities, this is the Spanish universities was listed in top 500. Uh, University of Barcelona is the best one. And this next I will say because of the methodology and uh, the general information I already introduced, there are some features of our ranking. Our ranking is the first multi-indicator global university ranking. The second one, we use, our methodology is transparent and stable. We kept the methodology stable since 2003. And we use only objective indicators. And now we use third party data only. And so the results of our ranking can be verifiable and reproduced by everyone who wants to verify it. Because of the features, there are some applications of our ranking. For example, it's reported by media in major countries. It's reported and cited by hundreds of universities. It's utilized by policymakers. It's referenced by researchers. And more and more important, it's used by students and their parents to choose universities to learn, to study all over the world. Next, I will give you some examples. This is the uh, number of media reported uh, our ranking from 2003 to 2014. And you can find there are about 50 media who reported the Shanghai ranking. This is the number of universities which cited or reported our ranking. For the universities ranked to uh, top two, uh, top 200, there are about 120 universities cited or reported Shanghai ranking. And this is some cases uh, the government allocation the uh, sponsorship for overseas studies. For example, the Russia to fund overseas studies. The Chile government, they uh, issued back Chile scholarships program and referenced the result of Shanghai ranking. Uh, next uh, is the last part of my presentation. I will talk something about the future of our ranking. The first one and the most important one, we will update the existing ranking annually. The most important thing is we will keep the consistency of our methodology in order that it can be used as a reference for comparison among different years. 
But we know there are many problems <coughs> about ranking, about the methodology. So we have done and has been doing some research about the method, how to improve our ranking. For example, uh, we want to better evaluate the performance of scholars, of academic staff. So we, are, we will include more international scientific awards for major subject areas, not only the uh, Nobel or Fields Prize, but some other major uh, scientific awards. For example, uh, we will include more international renowned scholars, for example, the plenary speakers in major conference. For the how to evaluate, for to evaluate the result of teaching, we want to use the internationally renowned alumni to evaluate the performance of the students, the graduates. For example, the executives in top companies or the directors of international organizations. To better evaluate the research output of social science, we want to include the books as the proxy to evaluate the research outputs for social science. There are also other, uh, other research we have done with our doctoral students. Yeah. The next uh, uh, work we are doing is diverse, uh, diversifying our ranking. For example, we will publish more subject fields ranking for, uh, for example, the chemistry, engineering, political science, such like this. And we want to produce more ranking by regions of special interests. Or we want to uh, uh, publish rankings every sign per capita performance. That, uh, or to consider the ranking, uh, including consideration of history, budget, science, etc. Uh, ranking is only a small part of our job, of our work. Most of our work is to do research about world-class universities and research universities. So we are profiling research universities. That's why we build the, the when we profile research universities, the most important question is, how we can get more information with internationally comparable indicators and data. That's the most important question. So that's why we, build, we are building a database with 1,200 1, universities with as many indicators as possible. This project is aiming to profile and interactive they analyze our world research universities at institutional level. The second goal is to benchmarking with peer research universities in the world at faculty and departmental level. That's you can see we not only rank the universities, but also benchmark universities from ranking to benchmarking. And now that we already designed we call it group platform. There are two parts for this platform. Uh, this platform is already uh, on our website. You can find it on our website. There are two parts of this platform. One is the survey portal that gets information from the universities directly. And all the information we get from universities, we uh, separate them into two parts. The general information, we will display this information from the universities on our website to show, the, uh, for example, the introduction, uh, universe, introduction about universities or the academic programs of universities. Yeah, something like this. We will add more items uh, in the future which can be uh, provided by the university directly to our ranking and displayed on our website to promote the universities themselves. 
And the second uh, function of this platform is the interactive benchmarking and the ranking tool. You can benchmark an institution with your peers' institutions. Uh, there are about 40 indicators that you can choose. And the second one is ranking estimation. You can estimate ranking positions based on our ranking. The third one is we call it customized ranking. That's ranking institutions by indicators. Except all the work we have done, we also uh, do some work uh, for the ranking community. That's, I really think that's our uh, important job, I, I think. Yeah, for example, the theoretical research on ranking to better understand the phenomenon of ranking. Uh, the, uh, we all, uh, I already mentioned the way mapping and weighting academic awards. Another one is uh, professional service through uh, IREC involvement and conference organization. We do some work about the IREC stakeholder guidelines on university rankings. So in summary, all the work we have done and we are doing to provide more scientific, transparent information for the uh, higher education all over the world. Thank you for listening. Yeah. The contact, as you already said, uh, I myself in charge of the global uh, the group project. So you can contact me in uh, via these two emails. Thank you. Thank you, Yanbu. I can only.